Hello guys, Glenn Gore here and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install BMG Drive mods in 2020. So before this video does start, I am not going to be using World of Mods at all. Unlike my other video that half the comments were just saying do not install from World of Mods, you're going to get a virus, even though I'm pretty sure I did state that in the video. I could be wrong, I have no clue, but if I didn't, I meant to state that in the video. Now if you absolutely do not care if you get a virus, then you can go ahead and check out my older video that does show how to install from World of Mods if you really want to. I don't recommend you do it because you'll probably get a virus. I was lucky and I did not get a virus when I did use that website, but you never know. And half the mods on there are pretty crappy too, so I mean if you want to take that risk, go right ahead, be my guest. Video link is in the description. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this video. Okay, so go ahead and open up the browser of your choice. I'm going to use Microsoft Edge. Yes, I use Microsoft Edge before anyone comments. Oh, you use Microsoft Edge. Uh, okay, yeah, I use Microsoft Edge, okay? So go to the BMG Drive website. Go to Mods. Go to Vehicles. Or select whichever one you want to select. For this video, I'm going to select Vehicles. Uh, for any other one, it's literally the exact same thing. It's so simple. And then I'll go ahead and find a vehicle that I want. So, let's see. I mean, I guess I could do this one then. So it is pretty simple, just click subscribe or download now. If you really want to do it manually, then be my guest. I'm not showing you guys how to do it manually. It's literally pointless to do it manually. I tried doing it manually myself, but I could not get any mods to work like that. I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong or it's been changed in the last three years, three or four years since I've played this game on Steam but I'm not able to get any mods to work manually. So I just click subscribe. Now it will, once you click subscribe, it will open up in the BMG Drive game. So if it does save, did you mean to switch apps? I don't know if it's gonna say that for Chrome or Firefox or anything, but it should say something similar. Just click yes. And then BMG Drive will open. Click the repository, click mods, and then you can see it's installing right now. Now most of the time you might have to unpack the mod. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. I don't exactly know, it kind of just depends on the day or what mod you installed or whatever. But I find sometimes that you don't need to unpack it. But if it does not show up in the vehicle list, then yes, you'll have to unpack it. And it should show up without having to restall or restart the game. Okay, I did not have to unpack it. Kind of an interesting mod. So yeah, that's the uh, mod. Same exact thing for any th other vehicle you have. Now, if you were, t if you do want to install a mod for the repository, I'll show you how to do that. It's really simple. I'm going to do remove this vehicle because it is extremely loud, and I can't hear myself think. So. Go back to the mods area, click repository. Now you can find whatever mod you want to get. I don't exactly know what I want. Um, <clears throat> I already have that installed, I can't do that. I have a lot of mods, I'm sorry. Um, I could do this uh, 89 Pessima two-door wagon. Click the uh, plus sign, that'll instantly install it right away. You can tell the progress of the installation right here and how big it is. Wait for it to install, then you should be able to spawn it. The game will freeze, more than likely, for like maybe five seconds or so. Usually when installing a mod, but it will depend on, how, on the size, of course. If it's a bigger mod, it might freeze for 30 seconds or so, something like that. And as you can see, kind of froze up right now. I can't really do anything. And here we go. So, Jesus Christ. Here we go, finally. Okay. Now, I don't exactly see it offhand, so I might have to unpack it. Now, 
Now some mods are also part of other vehicles too, so they might add them into something like Nisibu or something like that. So be alert of that if you don't see it here. You might have to look inside other vehicles. But I don't think it would be any in any other one. It could be. But for now, let's just go ahead and unpack it. Alright, as you can see, it's right here after about five aggravating minutes of trying to find it. So, just go ahead and actually had to spawn <laughs> the default one. Okay. Oh, God, I'm so tired. This is not the mod, okay? This is literally the beam as you drive vehicle that comes with the game. Let's try this again. That is the mod. This is what it looks like, okay? It's just a two door hatchback looking vehicle. Same exact thing, probably same exact engine, same exact interior, just the fact that it does not have t four doors. So yeah, this is pretty much how you install mods with the in-game repository and off the website as well. So if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.